Tapu Goiga, that means good day to all you Northern Tasmanian schools, Launceston Library, uh, everyone that's involved in this wonderful campaign. You've been invited to be part of this campaign by the Uluru Statement from the Heart. And the Uluru Statement is what I write about in this book that you've read, Finding Our Heart. And so the campaign is from our heart to yours. And you students, children from all around the country will be writing to the leaders of Australia to let them know that it's time to constitutionally recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people with a voice to the parliament. This is a very important job that you have to do. Um, many, many thousands of children telling the leaders of this country, the adults in charge, that this is something that's very important to you. That Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture is something that you want to include in the constitution. This is a very powerful action. Um, it's a very important campaign. So I'm going to read the book now and I hope that you enjoy it. I, I look forward to seeing the beautiful letters, the way that you children will express um, how we can find the heart of the nation from your heart to the rest of Australia. Finding Our Heart, a story about the Uluru Statement for Young Australians. We live in a big, beautiful country. And we come from many different parts of the world. Together, our nation is called Australia. Before this place was called Australia, we Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were here for thousands and thousands of years. We cared for our country, the plants and the animals. We sang, we danced, we worked, we learnt, we shared. We were the first to bake bread and we invented many ways to live with the land. We have the oldest living culture on the planet. When Captain Cook arrived, our way of life changed and we were treated badly and ignored. So we protested and we asked all Australians to listen to us because we know our country, because our country is sad and we need to find our nation's heart to make it better. The Prime Minister, the leader of all Australians, asked us, how do we find the heart of the nation? So with the many other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from all points of the southern sky, We showed the Prime Minister how to find the heart of the nation. We started with the truth. The heart of the nation did not come with the ships. It did not grow on the farms. The explorers couldn't find it, though they searched far and wide. It wasn't in the banks or in the ground. Or in the big cities. And it wasn't in the rule book. Where is the heart of the nation? The heart of the nation has always been right here and here in our voices. When we all came together at Uluru, we invited all Australian people to accept our voice and our culture as a gift. We invited everyone to listen to our heart in our songs, see our heart in our dances, learn where our heart is from in our stories and languages and how we have cared for our environment. We will only find the heart of the nation and make our country better when First Nations voices are heard. Will you help find the heart of the nation? 
So I hope you enjoyed the story, kids, um, and you take these actions that are in the book and importantly, from our heart to yours, write those letters and let the whole country know, let the leaders of Australia know that it's time to constitutionally recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people with a voice. Thank you.